Hello and welcome back to Ashley U Life. In today's class, I had a request and she wanted to know how to do a super sleek, slick bun. And I'm gonna show her and you how to do that. And I'm not gonna just show you one way to do it. I'm gonna show you two ways to do it. To make this sleek, slick bun, you're gonna wanna have two to three day old hair, like me. You wanna make sure it's combed out. Then I'm actually gonna tease my hair just a little bit on the top and the base, just so I give something for the bobby pins to hold on to. And to give my bun just a little bit of volume. Once you have that underneath part teased, you can now start to work your hair into a high ponytail. Comb back any pieces to make sure you're getting it as sleek and slick as possible. If you have any loose flyaways, feel free to use some water on your fingers to just tuck those back. Once you get your hair as sleek and slick as you would like it, secure your hair with a rubber band. The higher on top of your head that you put your ponytail, the higher up your bun will be. So depending on where you wanna put your bun, that's where you're gonna stick your ponytail. Now is the time to check for any bumps or dents that you don't like, now is the time to fix them. From here, I'm gonna show you two ways that you can make your top bun. You're just gonna grab a section of hair at the top part of your ponytail, wide and flat, and you're going to tease the front part of it because we were gonna be rolling this inward. So we don't wanna tease the back, we want this part to look smooth. We are just gonna roll it forward and tuck it in and bobby pin from both sides securing it to our head. Now because we have teased our hair under there, our bobby pins have something to hold on to, and we are gonna move around the head just like that. I'm going to tease on the bottom part of this because I'm rolling it under. Now I have kind of thin hair, so I'm only having one more piece to go. If you have thicker hair, you could do smaller pieces all the way around. We are going to now make this perfect. So I have little segments right here, little openings. We're gonna close those up. So you're just going to take the little segments that you twisted under and pull them apart from each other, closing up those holes. And now you have a perfect little top bun. Now to make everything look sleek and smooth. I actually don't slick back my hair much, so I'm gonna use some of my husband's pomade that he uses in his hair to slick back my hair. You can use whatever you'd like. You could use water to slick it back and do a bunch of hairspray. You could use a little bit of coconut oil to make it look shiny. Whatever you'd like, this is what I'm gonna do. If you have some hair gel laying around, that would work too. And just start slicking back. Once you get the product in your hair, whatever you are using, use a comb to comb it slick back. And there you have it, super sleek, slick bun. Depending on how sleek you want your look to be is how much product you're going to use. I prefer mine to not look so wet, but if you like it to look extra wet, add more product. This time, we are going to tease the whole ponytail. Go ahead and get crazy with it. Now take your ponytail that is now extra thick and just lightly twist it. You don't want it too tight and slowly wrap it around. Secure the end with a bobby pin. Secure the opposite side of where you put the first bobby pin. Spread out the bun just a little bit and pin where necessary. Now add your pomade, your hair gel, your coconut oil, or anything you want to make it look slick to finish it off. Again, comb back any edges that may have come undone. Get all those unwanted straggly hairs up and in towards the bun. But with this bun, you still get that sleek look, but the bun isn't quite as perfect. Then what do we do after we finish any hairstyle? We always check the back of our head with a mirror just to make sure everything is looking how it should. Looking pretty good to me. If you're going for a more casual look, this is the bun you're going for. If you want something that's a little more fancy and upscale, I'd go for the first bun that I did. Either way, they're super fun, easy hairstyles you could do to make your gorgeous look look glamorous. All I really need is some fancy earrings to complete this look. I hope this hairstyle, whichever way you choose to do it, makes you feel beautiful and helps you feel even extra glamorous. Make sure to like and share so other people can like and share. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next class. I kind of feel like, like a Disney princess when I have these earrings on. They make me so happy. I don't wear them very often, but when I do, I do something like what the Dos Equis man would say. Oh my gosh, I love them. I love them. How do you like my new background? Isn't it super fun? I moved and so now I have to have a new background. I've spent some time kind of trying to decorate it and make it all fancy and I got a chandelier. Love that chandelier. I've had it for a really long time actually. And the old place that we lived, I really had no place to hang it up. So it's just been in this like box, just waiting to get out. And today it finally got out and I'm so excited. Seriously, I'm like all fancy right now. Someone needs to take me somewhere. Matt! 
me somewhere. I don't know if you know if you can hear me, but maybe if I say it aloud, it'll happen.